Rothenberg. I'm a composer performer. I play alto saxophone, clarinet, bass clarinet, and the Japanese uh, bamboo flute called the shakuhachi. And I've been living and working in New York for over 30 years. And I'm very excited to be playing on April 24th of 2014 at Roulette for the interpretation series with an ensemble called Inner Diaspora, which uh, started in around 2007. Um, it was an augmentation of a trio which I've had going back to the 90s called Sync. Sync is with uh, master tabla player uh, Samir Chatterjee and Jerome Harris who plays acoustic guitar and acoustic bass guitar. Between the two of them they played with everybody from Sonny Rollins to Ravi Shankar. And then, um, as I say, this band played for many years, but I had had the idea to augment it with strings and um, it's very fortunate to be able to work with, I think, two of the preeminent improvising string players on the planet, Mark Feldman violin uh, and Eric Friedlander on cello. And we made this uh, CD for Sadek uh, called Inner Diaspora. Now I'm calling the ensemble Inner Diaspora because I, I like the name. And, um, but we will not be playing music from that record on this concert, the, the, the whole occasion uh, of the uh, uh, concert for the 24th is the premiere of a new book of music for the, for the group. This um, concert, uh, at least a couple of the, the more involved pieces, will be working off of um, the North Indian classical raga idea. Um, where we will be working out of scales and tonal centers. Um, you, know, you have a, 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 a central note, a kind of secondary note, and, and stronger and weaker notes. But rather than it being um, a single melodic composition, um, uh, for instance, that a, that a master player would play over for the whole time, depending upon who the soloist is and who the accompanists are, because it won't be, it wouldn't be simply a tampura playing a drone. Uh, but for instance, everybody in this group can play drones, drones of all sorts of different types, and, and a little more expanded idea of a drone than, than a, a, a simple held note. And so the, um, as the featured player uh, uh, transitions between one person and another, I'm trying to lend uh, both the, the dominant notes and the, and the focus of the scale to fit more into the idiomatic uh, uh, elements of that particular instrument. And because the cello and the violin, and in my case, mostly the clarinet, are quite different in this aspect, uh, I'm trying to uh, feature settings where people feel the most free and, and can really uh, show their own personal vocabularies on the instrument. So people often ask, well, it doesn't really, in, in all the different kinds of things I do, and I do quite a wide variety of, of music, from solo music to larger ensembles, you know, what do you call your music? And in this case, um, there's no question that I am blending uh, uh, world music forms and uh, uh, creative music ideas coming from the uh, African American music tradition. Um, uh, you know, and, and utilizing a, a, a composition and improvisation working together to try to achieve a, a unified expression. Everyone in this band has um, a rich uh, background in, in, in improvisation that allows them to bring their personal voice um, into the, into the music in a very interconnected way, regardless of, of what particular um, kinds of musical um, questions are being asked in a particular piece. And different pieces that I'm writing ask different musical questions. Um, so uh, those familiar with uh, uh, somebody like Mark Feldman, who's worked with uh, and Mark and Eric have both worked extensively with Masada String Trio with John Zorn, which uses all this uh, uh, scale-based 
Jewish influence music, and um, but also they both worked in a variety of jazz settings. Um, and uh, uh, Jerome Harris has one of the things that is so great with him is that he plays both bass guitar and acoustic guitar. So people are changing roles. I will play bass clarinet and piece, and I'll be serving as the bass player. Jerome might play guitar, and of course Eric on cello, he might serve a bass function in one section, and these roles can change. Um, and everybody has a, 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 a very personal and idiomatic way of improvising, not only in a soloist role, but also in an accompanist role, or in a role that, that involves uh, blending together, such that, uh, especially with Eric and Mark, it's so great, I can write uh, certain kinds of um, uh, string parts that um, and, and leave a lot unsaid because they will add the idiomatic touches. They're, they're such an old team that, that uh, uh, they can very spontaneously augment what I write to, to give it uh, their special flair. And, and Samir and Jerome do the same thing. So, um, so it's certainly a case where I'm guiding the music, but I'm really trying to let the musician shine and, and, and expand expand from the depths of their experience. Despite the fact that there will be a fair amount of notes on the page, it is very much uh, a, a vehicle for improvisation. And in the case of these improvisers and, and this mix of traditions, um, I'm really trying to work with uh, the fact that all these players have a real profound, deep knowledge of, of a particular set of aspects of improvisation. It's not the same as a um, either a pure jazz band where everybody knows about song form and everybody knows about, everybody has the same set of expertise, and it, or if we were playing a straight Indian raga with, with, with a sitar, a tabla, uh, and, and you're working off the common, uh, uh, the same set of, of, of uh, uh, knowledge structures. In this case, um, all five players have uh, a really deep set of tools, but they're different kinds of tools. And um, I think that what's really succeeded in the band previously, and I hope to continue, is that people do adapt and uh, not just play exactly the way they would play in another context, but really have a uh, 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 look for common ground that is, it, where, where we can all grow together. It's not an idea of, of, of forcing each other into uh, limitations either, but, but, but there, are, there, there is an understanding of kind of, um, as we work on the music, what fits and what doesn't. And um, as we start rehearsal shortly, you know, we'll go through this process. And um, I'm very excited to see you know, what results in April.